The Maserati MC20, the first of its kind. The rear-wheel drive MC20 will be the first car from Maserati to utilize the brand's new platform called Netuno. This new engine will be a twin combustion system borrowed from Formula One race cars and is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. This new twin turbo engine will deliver 630 horsepower in a V6 and a 0 to 60 time of only 2.8 seconds. The MC20 comes with an adjustable suspension and four different driving modes, GT, Sport, Corsa, and even a wet mode for driving in the rain and being able to perform under various conditions. Right away you will notice the beautiful butterfly doors using a dihedral system similar to that of McLaren. These doors were extremely light due to the simple yet elegant forged carbon fiber design. I was very surprised to see just how easy it was to open and close them with very little effort. This is the first time Maserati has introduced butterfly doors and they look amazing while still being functional for ease of getting in and out of the car. Once inside you are greeted with a simplistic design that is very driver oriented. Outfitted with carbon fiber accents and blue stitching on the seats and door panels to match the color of the brake calipers which was a very nice touch. The MC20 features a digital rear view mirror that uses a rear facing camera to feed an image of what's behind the car without any obstruction. This seems to be a reoccurring design element to help with visibility issues in modern day supercars and overall a fantastic safety feature. The seats featured here are the sport seats but there will be a carbon fiber racing seat that will be available as an option as well. As the rear deck lid is opened and that super clean engine bay is exposed, you notice the entire section is outlined in forged carbon fiber, making it incredibly light to lift up with that beautiful carbon fiber engine tucked right in there in the middle. As the rear deck lid is closed, one design element you will note is the Maserati Trident symbol that is etched directly into the Lexan glass. And right underneath that is where you can see the rear facing camera that captures images and projects them to your rear view mirror. Now going back to the exterior of the car, the paint on this particular example was amazing. This is the first time Maserati introduced this paint color, which is a satin white finish, but with a sort of pearlescent sparkle that comes out when the light hits it. This looked phenomenal in the sun, and I'm excited to see if they will introduce more satin finishes in their lineup in the future. With all of these components combined, with a carbon fiber tub, twin clutch gearbox, carbon ceramic brakes, it's race inspired, I think this car will be a huge success for the brand, as it has every component to push them forward in competing with the best. The starting price of the MC20 will be $210,000, ranging up to probably close to $300,000, depending on the options and carbon fiber add-ons. Now these will not be numbered cars, but they will be somewhat limited in quantity, as most dealers will only be getting about 5-6 to six allocations. Pre-orders have started already at your local Maserati dealers, and deliveries will begin late 2021, sometime around December. They will also be releasing a convertible option, as well as an all-wheel drive and all-electric variant, which will be Maserati's first step into the EV market. So that will be very exciting as this platform is the first of its kind and will pave the way for the future of this brand and their supercar lineup to come. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button to show some support and I'll see you in the next one.